All right, um, let's do some other things here. Let's um, change this little area here and give this a little bit more of a sense. So I'm going to go into my layers here and I want to give this kind of just a little bit of a kind of sense like it's jumping up and down. So we go to my panel and I'm going to select the line here. So I have that selected and the tool that I'm going to use, I don't want to kind of mess with any of these other things. So I'm going to lock these. So if I click here, I'm going to lock these other items. And then if I just double click, oops. So I've got those selected. And now what I'm going to use is a tool that's underneath this width tool and it's the wrinkle tool. So with that selected, this is a little bit too big. So the way that you've changed that, if you hold down option, you see you get that little corner. As I go down, you can see I kind of am shrinking it down this way. Left and right will shrink it down to the size I want. So if we kind of go vertically, vertically, we get this. And now you can see that this is kind of warping this into like one of those weird, I don't know, feedback things here. That looks pretty good. All right. And then actually, let's just to get, make this seem even cooler. Let's take that path, oops, drag it underneath the grid. So it's kind of underneath that grid. And then let's take that grid group there. And we'll unlock it now that we, and then same thing. Let's bring the opacity down on this just a little bit so we can kind of see it coming out from there. And that's maybe a little bit, bring the opacity up just a little bit more. There we go. 